What's up, people? I know. It's almost midnight. And I haven't done my 30 to 44 video yet. Till now. So here I am. Trying to get it in. Well, I got it in. So, uh, <clears throat> as promised, this is episode 10 of the 30 to 44 series that I'm doing. 30 days to April 4th. Four, which is also my 44th birthday. So therefore, I'm doing something that's taking me a little bit out of my comfort zone where I'm always in front of the camera. Or not always, but I'm in front of the camera. And I'm live. So, um, recently got home. I'm not going to say I just got home, but recently got home. And had to fix me something to eat. So I'm halfway done eating this. So, but, I, you know, looking at the time, it's almost 10 till midnight. So, I had to get this going before midnight. And uh, I don't want to make it a mukbang, but I am hungry. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why I'm hungry is because I didn't go to sleep last night. I was up. Um, got this new book. Called the Answer um, by John Asaraf and Murray Smith. And for those who know me, know that I don't like to read. And when I say that, I mean I don't like to read books that are not self help, self empowering, uh, about health and fitness and nutrition. If it's not, has anything to do with any of that stuff, I'm not. Or, or music. Then I'm not really that interested. You, you, 99.9 percent .9 chance that you will not see me reading a book like a Harry Potter or a Lord of the Rings or a Fifty Shades of Grey or any of that stuff. You know, I mean, how you know? This book was recommended by a mentor to read. So started reading it last night. It's like actually I was kind of hoping if I started reading it to make me go to sleep, but I didn't. I didn't. So I was up and I was reading and reading. I had to stop. Try to throw on some boring ass documentary. Try to fall asleep and still didn't fall asleep. So I didn't actually get to sleep. Until I came home in the middle of the day to take it and, and end up taking a nap or sleeping. So, but because of that too, I hadn't eaten all day. So now I'm eating. Sorry. And I come home and I find or I see cupcakes that my niece made. And I already had two of them, so they're very, very, very good. I'm the kind of person that likes to eat my dessert first. <laughs> so, the answer is the answer to the secret. Very good so far. Very good so far. So, um, and I would always tell how good a book is to me because I finish it very quickly if it's really good. So, um, that means I have a desire to actually read it. And I do. This one I really do. Um, there's so much stuff I got to do. Uh, I got to catch up on from the, since Monday um, with the other things that are going on. Um, yes, of course, I think everyone should read this. And you can get on Amazon right now, I think it's like six forty, six dollars and forty cents or something like that. Um, normally it's, uh, $16. I know they were on back order for a while on Amazon, but yep, about six bucks. And yeah, so everyone should read it. Um. 
grab it grab it and it's one of those books where you probably want to mark into highlight things like that so um yeah today's been an interesting day it's been a busy day i mean i've got again was at work by six this morning um trained got home about noon slept till about two <laughs> thirty it seemed like it was a long time but it was, or seemed seemed longer than that but it was a power nap believe me went back to work train um sat around talk with Patrick for a while about what's going on We're about to come to the end of his mini cut um his photo shoot um next week next weekend actually um so finalize those things and uh, <clears throat> if you go check out his page Patrick Johns or actually you can see pictures on my page of him of where he where, what he looks like what is, what's going on um he didn't know when the photo shoot was I just told him tonight when the photo shoot was um which also means he's going to do, do some water manipulation and bring him in even tighter um for the show oh man See all that gray. Ooh. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> but um I guess it just matches the outfit. Um but yeah, so we're gonna do the photo shoot. Um it's gonna be an a, a fitness athletic fitness photo shoot, so it's gonna get him working out and actually doing some poses and things like that. So he doesn't know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say something, but he might go back and watch this before the photo shoot. So I'm not going to say um, what the surprise about it is. Um, but anyway, it's been one of those days. It's, been, it's just been a busy day. So... Check my Snapchat, check my Instagram. You see, there's things going on. Uh, I don't know. I guess I haven't really been that much of a picture in the picture taking mode past few days. So it's like I have to force myself to get some pictures to, because of the whole thing that goes on with Instagram and Snapchat and stuff. And you know, when being busy, I can't. All the time, have my phone snapping. You know, I'm not just going to take random pictures of clients working out and whatever without, whatever, you know, without their permission, that kind of thing. So, <clears throat> with that, uh, it takes a little moment. Hey, Brian, what's up, dog? <laughs> messaging um but yeah it is what it is it's been nice it's been good sit here eating my rice <laughs> Actually, Brian is not right there. He's not right there where he is normally when I'm doing this from home. He is in the bedroom. It's almost midnight. We don't operate on the same schedule. <laughs> so he's in the bedroom and, uh, watching from his computer no actually his computer's sitting right here so he's watching from his phone <laughs> or was watching from his phone he's got things he's got to do in the morning uh, mm -hmm. mm. 
the cupcakes. Wait a minute. Adam's home already? Oh, I guess it is almost midnight. So, it is what it is. Um, ooh. What's he doing tomorrow morning? And how cold is it going to be? <laughs> Maybe we move some furniture. <laughs> Patrick still needs his food time. <laughs> he gets all, oh, he gets home at 11:47. I was like, that's a very exact number, 11:47. Yeah, it's going to be a little cold. I, I see that. I just looked at it on my phone. And I'm like, yeah. I'm too much of the uh, warm weather person. I ain't trying to move nothing in the cold either. So, cool. Mm. And I know Adam isn't either. <laughs> but... We'll be doing the Facebook Live tomorrow around 2 p.m. It's probably going to be a... Ooh, I ate that too fast. A hamstring workout. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. <laughs> But um, me and Patrick are going to go do a hamstring workout tomorrow around 2 p.m. Um, this week, Thursday, tomorrow just happens to be his day off. And around 2 p.m. is when I normally would like to work out. So I think we're going to do that. <clears throat> I just hate the data and Wi-Fi in, in that gym. Um. You know, maybe Saturday, next Saturday night, I will Facebook Live his photo shoot. Hmm. Or maybe I'll just video record it and do it, post it up later. So. And I would say the person that's doing the photo shoot, I'm going to make that be a surprise for him as well. And, um,. So I think I think he might be a little surprised how he's doing it. Oh well, I, that just means you have to log on with your phone and let all your customers see my Facebook Live. <laughs> you can have it sitting up there. You could take a take a laptop. You got a laptop? Take a laptop. Have it sitting up there. The entertainment, the goofiness that goes on between. Pat and I. Someone told me uh, this today that, or was it today? Yeah, this earliest today. They, you know, they they love the videos because we crack them up. Then me and Pat crack them up. So hey, maybe the dynamic Aries duo. <laughs> so we're rolling into Aries, and apparently. Um, Someone put in the chat last yesterday when I was doing cardio confessions that um, Pat, since his birthday is Tuesday, because coming up Tuesday, the 21st, that he's the the first day of Aries, which also makes him a double Aries, which means he's supposedly is twice as much when it comes to whatever the Aries is supposed to be. Because there's no overlapping. He's the beginning. That's the beginning of the zodiac, beginning of the calendar year, right, when it comes to astronomy and stuff. So, um, so there's no overlap. It doesn't overlap any, to anything. So if those in the first week of Aries are considered double Aries, and the person that put that up was also uh, a double Aries as well. So it's supposed to be just more twice as much. <laughs> oh, you're saying they'll steal the laptop? 
they'll steal the laptop or the phone, have it sitting there and watch entertainment. Either that or they'll use that as a distraction to steal everything else. I remember when I managed a music store that um, I remember there's like three or four people that I remember they just kind of like after they were gone, we were like, wait a minute, where, where's this? Where's that? We're like, holy shit. They just kind of distracted everybody. I mean, they were still in shirts and everything, right? Underneath our noses, basically. Because they had us distracted talking to someone else while someone was taking stuff off the shelves and tucking in under, had to be tucking in under jackets and everything else. So <clears throat> there was all that going on. So I could I could see and they will use it as a distraction to um, get them some potato chips and some monsters and everything else. <laughs> uh, I, I mean seriously, I mean how often do people steal stuff out of there? Wow, they're still dog shit. <laughs> What's funny about that is that I just saw a video, actually it was on television, and I don't know what, if it was a prank show or whatever, but there was these people that would follow dog walkers around, and as soon as the dog took a shit, they would hop out of the car real quick and they would go grab the shit. Seriously, I just saw that on television like yesterday. <laughs> oh, man. Well, well, look at you, manager extraordinaire over there. You're a COP, citizen on patrol, catching all those people trying to take stuff from your stall. Because that's you. You take a stall. I wouldn't think that, uh, 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 I guess you can't put it past anybody or any place either. So I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Is what it is. You notice I ate the cupcake, you see. Now I'm back to eating my regular food. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. And don't worry. I have another cupcake left. I have one. Of four. <laughs> They're good. The thing about it is I haven't eaten anything all day. <clears throat> oh, I lied. I did around um, 6.30, 7 o'clock this evening. 7 o'clock. 7.30 this evening. I did have a Gatorade protein bar that I think Brian had a coupon to get one free or something, and that's I tried it. So, which are better, the cupcakes or donuts? Donuts. The donut slayer is going to say donuts. Now, I, I like cupcakes and I like cake, so, but donuts. Can't believe you asked me that question, young lady. <laughs> Although, for National Donut Day, that donut shaped cake that you made was freaking awesome. I saw that um, the Krispy Kreme green donut is that was that the one in particular you're talking about? Because I did see something on Instagram about that. So, well, why not? <laughs> Krispy Kreme green donuts. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. I have to do it. If I want to maintain being the donut slayer, 
I need to get the green donuts. Or somebody, maybe a client or so, might want to bring me in donuts on St. Patty's Day. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone did and not even have seen this video. Um, because it's St. Patrick's Day. And then probably somebody, probably more than one client might bring them in. Just for the simple fact that they would try to bribe me to say, yeah, it's okay if you go out drinking tonight. <laughs> So, I got to watch SmackDown tonight. I didn't get a chance to watch it last night. There's so much stuff I need to go back and actually watch that I've missed. I think tomorrow morning I'll get up a little later, like around 8, <laughs> and do some more work. Um, get fully acquainted with everything I'm going to do with uh, as a as a coach with TerraFit, fitness coach with TerraFit. So uh, that's something that I've recently become a part of, and um, I think it's going to do well. And so, and with that, um, I think it's going to be awesome. Oh yeah, I did. I did hear. I did see that article too. Um, um, about AJ possibly even going over to Raw. But yeah, I, so I did hear about Shane versus AJ WrestleMania. We knew that they was kind of building that up anyway. But um, the moving AJ Styles over to the Raw brand um, only to me, only to me, to me only makes sense. Because then they can put the club back together. Um, seeing as it's been a year now since they've been split. Um, when I say split, they're, you know, the club. Bullet club. Um, it's been over a year since they've been with WWE. But they can put the club with Anderson and Gallows and AJ Styles back together and then bring Finn Balor and to Nakamuka Nakamuka Nak 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 mm. I can't never say his name right but anyway you have the Balor Club and then you have the club and then you you know so you could put that together so what you really have is the Bullet Club versus the Bullet Club going at each other so, because there's no way, I really just don't see them bringing Finn Balor back as a heel. I don't see that. And I do, I do think that, uh, I honestly think that um, SmackDown is the better brand. Um, but... I don't know. I have to see. I have to see last night's SmackDown. This past Monday night, though, they 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 ended awesomely. They, it was fantastic. What's up, Oscar? What's going on, dog? Um, but yeah, they they ended with the with the Mick Foley, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, and Seth Rollins. That was an awesome ending to Raw. That really, really was. So, um, they're, they're trying to bring it. They're trying to bring it in the building up to WrestleMania. It's incredible. I sound like Hulk. Hmm. 
Hmm. As a matter of fact, you can see, see in three weeks, The Walking Dead would be over. In three weeks, we'd have WrestleMania. Wait a minute. It was WrestleMania in the finale of Walking Dead the same freaking night. OMG. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to I have to verify. I have to verify. <laughs> WrestleMania is more important. Um I agree. So which one should I do live with, though? Probably WrestleMania. I was thinking about doing a Facebook Live, watching it, and then reacting. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Did you see that? I was watching Ring of Honor the other night, Kristen and uh, Cody Ro Cody, sorry, Cody. I just caught they just called him Cody. Um, was on there. You don't really watch Ring of Honor at all, do you? Because, not because, the reason I was going to say it, uh, is that they mentioned the Rhodes family. Well, he he's he's a he's a he's a floater right now. Um, hello, Christopher. Um, but Cody Cody is a floater right now, so he's floating. Between honestly, he's folding between TNA, the Impact, Ring of Honor, and New Japan. Um, they have this deal. They these this company, these three companies have this deal. So why am I feeling stuffed up right now? But um, he was on there, and they mentioned the Rhodes family. Because he, does, he doesn't go by Cody Rhodes. He just goes by Cody. Actually, he goes by the American Nightmare Cody. Instead of the American Dream. The American Nightmare. So, uh, yeah, their characters, um, they have people that are floating between the three wrestling organizations. They have uh, contracts. Um WCW used to do that with ECW. Um, they used to float certain characters, certain guys um, cross. But yeah, I was watching Ring of Honor yes the other day. It was, uh, Sunday night, Saturday night, Saturday night I think it was, and he was on there. It's like, hmm. Rarely can I catch TNA. Um, I just don't have it in my head to like. It's Whatever night it comes on, see, I don't even know um, to watch TNA. But uh, if it's on, if I come across it, if it's on, I watch it. Um, I'm more of a WWE fan, of course. Yeah, they. Everybody wants to end their career, the WWE. That's the thing, and everyone should have known that they were not, not going to um, re-sign with TNA, even though the Hardys have changed, the Hardys have changed wrestling over the past 
2016. Um, actually, they take they took if you think about it, they really took a page out of um, Zach Ryder's book and blasting in the internet. And their little skits and stuff that they did, the Broken, Matt Hardy, um, right? Broken Matt Hardy, Broken Jet, Broken, anyway, they're broken. Um, and just kind of like remaining, they've taken it, honestly, kind of taken it back to, back in the time where people truly, really did argue is it fake? Is it real? And then they had to, and they would, would say that it was real back in the day all the time. It was real. It was real. So they had to like maintain character in the public, you know, that if they were a bad guy on, on the show, that'd be a bad guy in public, you know, it was one of those kind of things. So, um, broken has become one of those things where they've used the internet to do that. You know, so it's it's a new age, and and you know that with them being as hot as they were in 2016, don't be surprised. Do not be surprised if they don't hop into the WWE for one more year to finish out. Um, I know, just like Kurt Angle, you know he's going to get at least one more match. In the WWE, even though he's going into the Hall of Fame, he's going to get one more match. He's got to. And no, honestly, no better person to put him against that could actually help him. Um, honestly, I think it's Triple H. Because Triple H uh, will... I think Triple H will actually actually can help him. Triple H is good, just like you saw him on Monday night. He's 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 good. He there's no other better person they could have had uh, Seth Rollins in the ring with than Triple H. Um, with that, um, I don't see. I'm I. This McMahon giving them that, that much creative control. I honestly think in this instance he would. There used to be a time when when you went from one organization to the other, your name changed. But AJ Styles, because he already had that following. Um Who's the other one? I can't think of his name. The Destroyer. Oh my gosh. Samoa Joe. <laughs> Samoa Joe. And change his name. Bobby Roode. So there are people who are coming over who have that following under that name that they're letting that they're letting to keep. And I think a lot of that has to do with Triple H. And, now, and I honestly think even bringing the Hardys over, they already have the name. They already been doing craziness with, you know, what they've been doing creatively. Um, Vince McMahon and Triple H, they would have to be nuts not to let them continue doing it. That'll be that that would be like. Trading, you'll get this, Roethlisberger from the Steelers to the Bengals, and no, I can't even say, can't even say that, <laughs> from trading Roethlisberger's, Roethlisberger to the Patriots, and then the Patriots saying, you can only do this, you can only pass this much, you can only run this much, you can only do this. No, that would be stupid of the Patriots to do that. They were like, Roethlisberger? Do what you do over with the Steelers. Do the exact same thing and bring that kind of – matter of fact, boost it up a notch. Bring the people over. So 
I think that's what Vince and Triple H would do because it's it only benefits the brand. It's good for business. Let them be creative. Let them do other stuff. Um, it's one of the reasons why I like the WWE too is that I look at the WWE as a way to view life and business. There's certain avenues to take. I'm, I, I watch. I look at how Vince operates. I look how this multi-billion dollar company. Do you know how many other networks are going to try to duplicate what the WWE network is doing? There are already smaller indie organizations that you can pay for, not like 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 Rockstar Rest, Rockstar Pro Wrestling, which is uh, out of Dayton, Ohio. They on their website you could pay, I believe it's four ninety nine a month to watch all their you know pay I pay I pay per views, which are internet pay per views, um, and watch all their um, weekly TV shows from their website. You know, and then they got their catalog of stuff too, you know, so they're, you know, they're, and I know they're just one of many and not just wrestling, but other organizations that are doing this on-demand video and trying to put together something like what the WWE has. I just find it very, very funny that Vince, that Vince, that Shane McMahon comes back. Not too long after the complete launch of the WWE Network. He dealt with telecommunications and his other business. Hmm. But of course, they always do what's best for business. And what's best for Steve is to eat this cupcake. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. Seems I have a question here. And the question says When I do push ups, my arms burn really bad, like on fire. What does that mean? I've put on 30 pounds. Is it because my body isn't used to pushing up 180 pounds? My answer to that was would be, I don't know why Christopher is not watching me live. <laughs> Just asked the question there. I don't know, maybe he is. Anyway, um, when did you start doing push-ups? And how long have you been doing? And what have you been eating? And there's so many other questions I could ask. This is that your body's not used to pushing up 180 pounds? Your body's not used to pushing up 180 pounds. And if I know you, your body's not used to pushing anything. <laughs> hmm. This is me, and I'm answering that specifically to Chris who asked that question. Your body's not used to pushing up anything. So now that you're starting to work out. You want to be an actor. Well, I can't say you want to be an actor. You are an actor. You have been in things. So you're an actor. Um, and never say you've acted. You are an actor. Of course, you want to get in shape. You want to be in that old Marky Mark shape. You want to look like Justin Bieber. Photoshopped. Because 
because I saw Justin Bieber up close. Stood right. Wait a minute. He put his hand on my shoulder. <laughs> Justin Bieber put on my shoulder. I remember. I remember. Anyway, he's skinny. <laughs> So, but I'm going to go ahead and finish eating. <laughs> Ooh, beaver. I'm going to finish eating and get to watch some SmackDown. Hopefully get some sleep and get up in the morning, hit everything hard. Facebook Live video tomorrow at 2 p.m. or a little bit after. Uh, I would do it as we start our workout or prepare for our, to work out. And we got to work out because I have clients starting at 4 p.m. So, and I don't like to stink. So, therefore, we have to work out and I have to get in the shower afterwards. Um, so, with that, deuces. Good night, Kristen. See you later. We'll talk more. Depending on how things go, I'll start doing live videos, wrestling. Anyway, <laughs> all right, peace, love, hair grease.